Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. So this right here is at my office or my shop. We kind of renovated all this, brought in a bunch of dirt, leveled it out, sowed four different grasses. I've got my uh, fescue and bluegrass right there. I'm standing on the rye grass. Over here is the tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass on the end. Sorry about the noise, this road's freaking wide open. It ain't even time to get off work yet. So you know I've been a little bit intrigued about real mowing. I've got to give the props to two gentlemen. Uh, one's Mr. Connor Ward and one is Mr. Ryan Knorr. Uh, they both have YouTube channels. Go check them out. Uh, look at them. Subscribe to them. All that cool stuff. When I first saw Connor's yard about two years ago, I was absolutely floored at how good that thing looked. And happened to notice he mowed it with a real mower. And I was like, man, you've lost your flipping mind that real mowers belong on a golf course. Of course, that's what I've always thought. It's been my mindset. But since watching uh, Connor and Ryan mow their yard week in and week out, I've changed my mind on that. Changed my thought process that yes, there is a place for a real mower in a residential yard. And, uh, sick looking to be honest with you. So I'm kind of in the mindset of uh, checking into real mowers and seeing what I like and what I don't like about a particular brand or model. And today, Mr. Allet, Allet Mowers, uh, Mr. Hall came and brought me his uh, his Allet mower. And um, uh, first impressions is I am extremely impressed. It is super easy to operate. Uh, the cartridges come in and out so easy. Uh, it cuts unbelievable. I mean unbelievable. This is my first real deal, uh, real mowing experience. You know, I got a little video I posted with a push one, but that really don't count. This is my first real deal motorized with a high-end commercial grade, commercial quality real mower. and. So I'm quite impressed. Now, whether or not the John Deere, the Toro, the California Trimmer, the whatever, will will give this same quality of cut, I don't know because I haven't used them. So I, I'm only basing this off of my experience today. So what we're going to do, and we'll show a little footage of where we mowed today. And, and uh, we actually used two different mowers. One's a rotary style mower, big old silver deck on it. And I really, really like that thing. That, that, that's these stripes right here. And uh, then we use their C27. But hey, I just had a good time. I had fun learning how to do this stuff, uh, learning about their machine. It, and again, uh, I don't have anything to compare it to, but from what I saw and my knowledge of equipment in general, man, that thing is just incredibly stupid easy to use I mean just incredibly I could not get over how easy it was to operate it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna show you the mowing and a little clips from mowing out here today then we're gonna go over to my dad's driving range he's got 419 Bermuda and uh, we're gonna do bring out the uh, more of the uh, the uh, cartridge type things the uh, turf rake uh, the verticutter uh, they've got an aerator for the thing. They've got a dethatching uh, cartridge. All kind of different cartridges that pop in and out. So I know you're tired of hearing me talk. Let's go in and start mowing. Ooh, boy, that's nasty looking right there, man. Mm. It's like little miniature British Army tanks. You said you built them good, didn't you? We tried to. They. It looks pretty dang rugged to me wow look at those freaking bearings is that is that standard on a real mower to have that thick of a no. bearing so this is where this this is different from a golf course machine okay this is really designed to be much much more robust the the width of the blades is much thicker the bed knife if you look at the bed knife on this unit the bed knife is a really solid piece of steel We'll have a better look of that, at that when we take the actual cartridge out. What do these do? So 
So these, those are veins, so you get an even distribution of grass there on the on the. On the it's, because of the angle of the of the reel, yeah. if you just didn't have it, it would all be thrown to one way to the other side. So you need this. You need that my little bit. push unit. Don't have those. No, well, you know, <laughs> it's a good unit. It's just a different unit. Look at that stripe. Snap! <laughs> Cloudy all day, but look with the sun on them. Holy cow. Boy, I've taken many a swing from right here before. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is where I learned to hit uh, play golf. And my dad uh, spent time with me out here and showed me the swing and how to do it. And I had a little bit of natural ability, uh, God-given natural ability, uh, to be able to swing a golf club kind of fluid. and. It's funny, we, that's 275 uh, yards back down to the top of the trees and man, me and my brother, we would just launch them way over there. We would be 100 yards back in the woods getting golf balls, so uh, it's cool memories out here for sure. That's neat. Is that the turf? This is the turf rate. The so this is rate. the single most important cartridge that we do. And whether it, I'm talking to a, uh, the Red Sox or the Green Bay Packers or homeowners or landscapers, this is by far the most important cartridge. Okay. So this is what's really going to do, you know, as I say, you look at the grass and the grass is growing as like, like a weed, so it's very much intertwined. Yeah. And we want to get it very much. We want it upright. And so this is like a turf rake, like a comb. Yeah. So it's going to really comb the grass. And the, the more you comb it and the more you get it into a direction, then the better everything works without tearing the material. And straight out. 
And that's about as complicated as it gets. Yeah, that's a little too hard, man. <laughs> I think it needs to be a little bit easier than that. So if you Come look on, at, man. <laughs> just, so you, just so you have a look, Pete, try lifting that. It's got a little the weight. Is, the idea is for you to understand how robust this is. Oh, yeah, that thing's not, got some... It's not flimsy and feeble. No, it ain't this nothing. Gonna, this is going to take some punishment. And again, when you look at the, the bed knife... It's a really solid piece of steel. This is not, wow. again, it's designed for longevity and for, to, to be relatively maintenance free. Drop it in. On, Slide it over. On this side, no, on this oh. side, just so you see, you have a male and a female. Yeah. Oh. You need to line up the notches. Yes, I see. Notches are lined up. Bingo. Now you tighten it up. Huh? That's like cheating, man. The idea is that it's very simple. Yeah, that's cheating. Hmm. Fuck it. That thing's made of something, isn't it? Holy cow, it's heavy. in here. What would you say that is? Maybe 40 feet-ish? Yeah, 45 in. 45 down, 45 back. And we have dumped this thing, was that the fourth dump? One, two, three. I think that's the fourth dump right there. Wow. So the concept is to remove all of the yuck, all of the crap yep. Yep. that is inhibiting sun water nutrients whatever to get down in the ground where it actually yeah. belongs well but you're also removing the key ingredient that causes your disease fungus and helps seed your invasive species and weeds yeah so you know it's very much a double whammy of what you're able to to end up with that's pretty amazing man it's so quiet that's path number two. Wow, it is amazing how much stuff is in this Bermuda. That's absolutely amazing. This 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 uh, philosophy of lawn care is 100% totally and completely new to me. It's a totally and completely learning curve for me. Uh, and basically, at the end of the day, they want everything off of the ground except the grass that's the only thing they want there is a healthy grass plant see absolute zero thatch zero uh debris he calls it debris uh, by the way i love his accent but that's that's the philosophy is to get rid of everything that's uh not a healthy living plant that way sun water nutrients can actually get in the ground where it needs to be that is number what? Six, oh, seven. yeah, seven, right? Yeah. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> I cannot get over. You can't tell it from the UK. And exactly, when you're looking at it, you know, a typical D thatcher, when you run over, especially anything that's thick, it is going to mangle the turf. Mangle it. That's one of the reasons I'm against D thatching, uh, unless it's just absolutely needed necessary and of course this is kind of showing me a little bit different but i mean you can actually see the ground now look at there oh yeah there's so many different heights of cut right here that the grass is not cut evenly 
because it's matted and mangled and laid over and mashed down in there and this is absolutely amazing i have never seen anything like that before the majority of that it's just is just crap but and it, it's already very moist too you can tell exact, it's, it's, absolutely yeah. it's very moist because it's holding that moisture where it doesn't need to hold it yep. right at the crown of the plant you know yep. that's that's incredible yeah they gotta see how easy this is so basically you back this so all the way all out way, so the point is not sticking out so because otherwise is, the point will still still catch it that's good move this out of the way oh yeah get this out of the way straight, straight up and then out <laughs> I see you trying to make my job easier. Come on, man. I cannot get over how simplistic that all is. That's that's really cool. Do now you this, watch your shins on this one? Oh, oh this yeah, just looks nasty time. right here. <laughs> These little yeah. fins in here is what actually takes the clippings, or not clippings, but the de debris. 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 <laughs> and it throws it up in the bucket. So uh, that's pretty cool. so dang impressive about it i have not he has not torn up this grass in any way shape or form there's absolutely zero damage done to that look at that incredible So look at the difference in that. See how open and airy that is? Yeah. And then once you mow this and feed it a little bit and mow it and water it and all that, that's gonna thicken up and become a solid, dense canopy, exactly. right? But look at compared to this looks solid and dense already, but what you don't know is everything that's under there until we ran the machine. And you know, you missed the spot. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, there you go. I mean, what else can you say? It's a it's a pretty impressive machine. So what am I gonna do? Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna probably keep doing my homework and look around and I'm gonna check out some other. Does that mean I'm gonna throw my rotary mowers away? Heck no, I'm not. And I love my Wright ZK and my old 2000 model X Mark walk behind. And I will still use those, still make videos and mowing with them. Uh, but I am absolutely intrigued about real mowing. Uh, it is it is fascinating watching that machine work. It's also fascinating to me to see the finished product that that machine created. So, hey, I'll be thinking about it, try to figure out which way I want to go and which one I want to buy and all that. I got several others I want to look at before I make any decisions, and uh, that looks some kind of good. Uh, and I'm very tickled with this and can't wait to mow it again so hey be sure to like and subscribe and tell all your buddies and uh, i'll check you later